a blessed week and a blessed Sabbath to you all. We are back on lesson four, the eyes of the Lord. Discovering the biblical worldview. And our memory verse comes from Proverbs chapter 15, verse 3. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, keeping a watch on the evil and the good. Amen. So this week's lesson confirms to us that God is omnipresent. He is always watching over our lives. There is no place on or anywhere we can be where he isn't. If you are doing bad, murdering, hijacking, doing all those evil things in the darkest of places where you think no one is watching, remember God is always watching. If you're doing good, also remember God is watching. So this week, this lesson helps us to look at our lives from the biblical worldview, what the Bible says about us. The Bible helps us answer the biggest questions in life. Who am I? What's my purpose? Where does God come from? Who's the origin? What's my purpose in life? What's the hope? When there's so much suffering in the world, where is God? What is he saying about it? So it helps us look at life through God's eyes. You know, at times when bad things happen in our lives, we tend to say, but where was God? God is always there. Even when we are in pain, when we've lost a loved one, God knew, God always cares, and he never gives us what we can't handle. God is always watching. He, the, uh, Genesis 1 verse 1 says, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. He created it for himself. After he had created everything else in the world, he created us in his own image so we can have fellowship with him and enjoy his love. He loved us before we were even born. He loved us before he even created the world. We are his, and in him we find our purpose. So this week, I challenge you to look at the world through God's eyes, to look at the world through what the Bible says, through the biblical worldview. May God help us look at life through him, and we will be content and satisfied with who we are and who God is in our lives. May God bless you and keep you blessed Sabbath.